Welcome back to Track and Field Culture. Today we will be going through the top three records that we think will be broken this 2024 season. Starting off with the obvious, Pole Vault. This record will absolutely be broken this year. Mondo Duplantis has already cleared the previous world record in his opening meet in China, and it's only a matter of weeks before he clears the new world record after having some close looks at his last two competitions. I mean, just take a look at the all-time list for the pole vault. It's a Mondo Duplantis party in the top 10 list, with a lone Frenchman within the ranks. Number 2. 110-meter hurdles. In 2012, Aries Merritt set a blistering time of 12.80 seconds to shatter the 110-meter hurdles world record But that record might not survive as three-time world champion Grant Holloway, who has run the second fastest 110 hurdle time ever, is looking to improve by just 0.01 seconds to finally break his fellow American's world record. He goes and is in a league of his own yet again. He ran 13.11 yesterday. What does it say today? 12.81. My goodness. The record and an Olympic gold this summer would cement Grant as the greatest hurdler to ever do it as Holloway has already got the World Indoor and Outdoor Championships along with the World Indoor Hurdles world record. To his name, Grant is just missing the outdoor record. Time to come up. I knew it was fast. Shut I knew it was fast. I knew it. 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 Jonathan Edwards' world record of 1829 might be in great danger this summer. It's the first time I've ever heard a crowd clapping after an athlete's jump. 1829! It just gets better and better! 18-year-old Jaden Hibbert, who boasts a personal best of 17.87 meters, is one of the three who are looking to attack the world record this summer. Along with Pedro Pablo Pichardo, who leaped M out to a monstrous 18.08 meters when losing to 23-year-old Jordan Diaz Fortin, who bounded out to a number three all-time mark of 18.18 .18 meters at the European Champs this year. These three, along with indoor record holder Zango and the other Cuban-Italian jumpers, are building up to an ultimate triple jump showdown in Paris this summer. Has Diaz Fortune joined him? Has he taken the lead of Pedro Pichardo? Honorable mentions we didn't include in our list were Mikolas Alekna, who already broke the discus world record earlier this season, breaking the longest standing men's track and field record. Rai Benjamin, Karsten Warholm, and Dos Santos, who are all back in form for the 400 hurdles, and finally Ryan Krauser, who has shown he's capable of extending his world record further in the shot foot. That's all for today. Thanks again for tuning into my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below if you want a part two of this. But the women's version, as always, thanks again for tuning into track and field culture.